good evening or good day, whatever time of day it is, Oka Tov or Erev Tov. Um, today I'm going to be doing a casual Shabbat celebration. Shabbat is the Sabbath day for Jewish people, but you do not have to be Jewish to watch this video. You don't have to be religious. You can just watch this to relax, and it can mean whatever you like it to mean. Um, I'm not going to be celebrating this in a traditional way anyways, but I hope that you enjoy it and find it relaxing. Some people call this Shabbat or Shabbos, depending on uh, how their family called it. And we're going to start by lighting a candle. We'll see if we can... There we go. So I don't have candles for Shabbat currently, so I just like to use this magic light candle. They work very well, they're very affordable, and they burn for a very long time. And you can burn them all the way to the very bottom and then just remove the metal piece that the wick is attached to so that you're able to recycle the glass. I always find it's hard when you get to the bottom of a candle to get the wax out to recycle, so I like this glass in particular. And so, Next, I have this kiddish cup that I ordered online. I'm going to show you the plate. I think that sometimes people can see things like this and think maybe they're a bit garish or gaudy, but I actually do really like shiny things like this. You can see the flame in the reflection. Actually looks really neat. I didn't grow up celebrating Shabbat, so a lot of this is very new to me because I've decided that Jewish culture is important for me. And so I've been trying to do a lot of research and learning a lot about this culture. And I ordered this kiddish cup for myself. Um, it's supposed to depict Jerusalem. So the textured part are the walls of old Jerusalem. Let's see if we can be Get a close up. So those are the old walls of Jerusalem. It has something written in Hebrew, but it's very difficult to read because it's so shiny and the letters are so small. And this was the plate again. Oh, that looks really nice close up. I really like the texture. I like running my hands 
around the design. And this design is also just the old city of Jerusalem. And so I'm going to be pouring wine into this cup and uh, usually a prayer is said. Um, I don't recite a prayer, but when I pour the wine and hold my hand over the cup, you can say a prayer if you'd like to, or you can just say a, a mantra, say something that's nice to say. wine. I'm going to pour it into the Kiddush cup. Mm. This thing on top of the wine bottle is an aerator that my parents gave me. adds air to the wine when you're pouring it. And so I'm going to hold my hand over the cup. I would like to say something while I do this, but I'm going to give a moment for you to say either a prayer or a nice thought, a mantra, or nothing at all, but just take a moment. And so, what I would like to say while I hold my hand over the cup is um, something in Hebrew. I have slowly been trying to learn Hebrew and it's a little difficult to learn, but I've been enjoying the process. It's rewarding when you can read a language that's written differently than English language alphabet, but I'm very new and I'm still learning, so what I'm going to try to say might not be correct. If you speak Hebrew, then you can let me know in the comments what it is that I've said, or you can let me know if I didn't say it correctly. Okay. Anaknu Yodin Yesh Lenu Shalom Yesh Lenu Ahava Yesh Lenu Chaim And I just said some simple things. Um, have to have meaning. They can. I just feel grateful to be learning a new language and to be understanding some of it and to feel like I would like to say some of it out loud and practice it even if I'm not perfect just yet. Let me know if you know any Hebrew? And so, I'm going to toast to you, and I'm going to take a sip.
I've been watching ASMR for a while. I enjoy it. There are a few ASMR artists that I really enjoy and appreciate. Their videos really relax me and help me to fall asleep. And so since I enjoy it so much, I thought that it would be nice to maybe try to make my own ASMR videos. But since I'm also learning a lot about Jewish culture um, as part of my own journey, I thought it might be nice to mix Jewish culture and ASMR. I don't think you have to actually be Jewish or religious to enjoy an ASMR video that has some Jewish components to it. Because I I think it's more about the sounds and the ambiance and the visuals. Um, maybe just listening to someone talking calmly. But um, please do let me know if you like content like this. And if you'd like to see more of it, I do plan to have one about the different tickles that I wear, the Jewish headscarves. Um, and I'm not sure what else, maybe just some other variations of celebrating Shabbat. And so, I'm going to blow out the candle in a moment. I hope that you have a good evening, a good sleep, a good day whatever time of day you watch this. I hope that you enjoyed this. Do let me know. And Laila Tov, good night.